Welcome to mybtechprojects.tech In this series we are going to see how to establish serial communication between Arduino and Node MCU. This is the example 2. Here we are going to send multiple data between Arduino and Node MCU. To send a single data between Arduino and Node MCU, check the link at the top of this video. The components used are Arduino Uno and Node MCU. And coming to the connections, the pin 5 of Arduino is connected to pin D5 of Node MCU and pin 6 of Arduino is connected to pin D6 of Node MCU. And coming to the working of the code, Node MCU is programmed such that it sends the control character to the Arduino and once the control character is received, the Arduino sends the data back. And for sending multiple data, we are going to use the JSON format. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is a lightweight data interchange format for structuring data. It is basically used in non-SQL databases. JSON is based on key value pairs and the key is always of the type string and the value may be of an integer or a string or an array. And here is a basic example of JSON. Here we are going to send two data from the Arduino to the Node MCU. So I have created two keys, data 1 and data 2, and I have assigned the values 50 and 40. And coming to the Arduino part, make sure that you are connected to Arduino you know in the boards and make sure that you are connected to the port and we here we are using the software serial library software serial library which is used to create a custom serial port here the pin 5 is the rx pin and 6 is the tx pin and we are using the Arduino JSON library for creating and uh, pausing the JSON to install the library we should go to sketch include library and manage libraries then search for Arduino JSON make sure that you install any 5.x versions because the 6.x versions are in beta stages here I have installed 5.13.3 in setup I am initializing the serial communication that is the serial port with 9600 bits per second and here we have created a JSON buffer JSON buffer is the memory management library for to store the JSON objects. Here we have created a static JSON buffer of size 1000. Here we have created a JSON object named root and we have stored two values. data 1 is the key and 100 is the value data 2 is another key and 200 is the value and if there is any control character received in the serial port it sends the data back to the node MCU and now we can upload the code into the Arduino Then coming to the node MCU part, make sure you have selected the node MCU in the boards. And make sure that you have selected the COM port. 
here same as we used in the Arduino a serial port is created and the pin D6 is make, made as uh, Rx and uh, D5 is made as uh, Tx and we have imported the Arduino JSON library and here we have initialized the default serial communication in 9600 bits per second and the custom serial port S with 9600 bits per second and we have created the JSON buffer and the JSON object is created and the data is retrieved from the serial port JSON buffer dot pass object of S so the JSON data received in the serial port S will be passed and it will be stored in the JSON object root so here we are retrieving the data from the serial port and we are storing it in the JSON object root and here we are checking whether the JSON is in the valid format or not If the data is not in the valid format, we return out of the loop. And here we are accessing the data and printing it in the serial monitor. We can access the data like with with the key value pass. Root of data one returns the value in it. Root of data two returns the value in it. To see the data, we can open the serial monitor. Now we should upload the code into the node MCU. Now the code has been uploaded successfully. To see the output we can open the serial monitor. Thank you for watching this video. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Suggest us some interesting projects in the comment section and the next video will be yours. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Do like and share it with your friends.